everyone. My name is Fetuga Holishola. I'm from Sip Your Choice Signature. So today I'm teaching on how to sew a three-quarter gown. The material I'll be using is my tape roll, my scissors, my chalk, then my office pin, measurement book, fabric, which is Ankara fabric and is six years. The measurement I'll be using is my shoulder point to the shoulder point that will be divided into two places then my bust measurement will be divided into four places then my waist measurement will be divided into four places of course i need my bust radius which is from my shoulder to my under bust then my bust point from my shoulder to my nipple then my bust pan my bust pan from nipple to nipple so that i'll use that to determine my dart so in case you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload so let's get started so this is my six years of ankara the length of my gown is 53 so 53 minus full front plus four inches So I will be cutting two of these. I'll be joining it together here at the edge here. So everything will give me 90 inches because from this end to this end is 45. So when I join it, it will give me 90 inches, and that 90 inches will be equal to two and a half. So I'm using two and a half. For the gathers part, most radius here is 15, and I have a front which is 18. So I want my band mm -hmm. to be 3 inches that is full front minus bust radius, so half 3 inches. Now I want this my band to be 3 inches. I will now have to put 4 inches, half inch to sew it on the upper part, then the half inch to sew it on the lower part, so I will have 3 inches. So I have 45 inches here. So by the time I fold it, so I'll place my garters on it so it will serve as my bag. Now let's go straight to the upper part of our material. You can see my biggest part of the body, which is the hip, is 92 plus 5 and a half. So this is my 5 and a half. So I this is my bust radius which is 15 inches so that's the length of the top that I require so now 15 inches plus half inch for the sewing allowance on the shoulder part then plus half inch so for the sewing allowance on the down part so now I have my 16 here So let me determine my back first. So the shoulder I'm using is 14 and a half inches. Divided by two, that's seven two for the back. To determine the hammer is eight inches but i'll put half inch for the sewing allowance that's eight and a half so now my bust point which is ten and a half plus half inch is where i'm going to determine my bust so My bust measurement is 36 divided by 4, which is 9 inches. 36 plus 2 inches sewing allowance. The under bust, 30 inches divided by 4, it will give me 7 and a half plus 2 inches. So 
I want to determine my shoulder slant now. One inch downward the armhole. Then I'll draw it to the neckline. So I want to determine the neck, the neck measurement, which is three inches along the shoulder slant, then three and a half inches along the cent center back. I'll use this to cut my lining, then I'll sew it round. I'll sew it around. The shoulder measurement here is 14.4 divided by 2, that's 72. Plus 3.5 inches. This is my front. From here, I'll measure 8.5 for the, for the ammo to determine the ammo. is 10 and a half plus half inch making 11 so this way i'm going to put the shoulders i mean the, this is where i'm going to put the bust measurement a bust measurement is 36 divided by 4 and is equal to 9 then plus five and a half inches So the under bust, the under bust is 30 inches divided by 4, which is 7 and a half, plus 5 and a half inches. So now, my boss pan is nipple to nipple, which is 7 divided by The boss point. Then plus 1 inch. That's 4 and a half. On my boss radius here, this is my under bust so on this my under bust line i want to draw my dart which is two inches one inch on one side and one inch on the other side so making two inches forget this is my bust point so I want to draw it to the bust point so on my bust pan line here I will measure two inches along the shoulder slant so So you can see, I will join this side to this side, then, then I will join it. I use this my front to cut the inner lining. I join this, the center front to the side. So I joined it. This is how it's going to look like. Then I will now use it. I want to level it.
so this side is longer than the center, center front a bit that was the reason i so now i'm going to measure it now the shoulder which is 14 4 divided by 2 that's 7 7 2 so you can see it is accurate just little that will just trim off so now my slant one inch downward along the ammo then I will draw it to the neckline so then I want to shape my neck the neck of the so along the full front I want to use four and a half then along the shoulder slant I'm using three inches I'll use this to shape my lining I'll use to turn it so this is how it should look like so I'll use this to shape so the way I seal this the way I join this the way I join it that's how I'm going to join my lining then I will now place it on the neck then I will sew the, the neck then I'll sew the side also the other side so I'll turn it then after joining the the lining to it so I want to reshape everything now to the actual size so my bust is nine inches this is my nine inches plus two inches sewing allowance Then my under bust is seven and a half plus two inches. You can see this is accurate. So I will shape it. So now after joining the my material with the lining under with half inch on both sides then I will now sew it by one and a half inches then I will join my back to it from the shoulder this is my flare for the sleeve so this is my ammo and I will join it here so this is where I'm going to put my band so to form like this you can see I'm true with it so I just cut a, a lining shorter than the body then I place it then I knit it up then I put my band so this is where I'm going to join to my body the upper part of my gown so this is how it looks like so don't forget I used two and a half for this down part for this gathers area then this is the measurement of my waist which is 31 so I just place it so I put my zipper here after joining then I will zip it so this is how it's going to